Five games. Five. Ended on a game-winning field goal. Five games had mm-hmm. kickers win games for them, and I can't tell you enough how jacked up and zeked I got watching all of them. Playoff race and even the Caleb Williams sweepstakes are going down to the wire. So with that, let us dive into the Week 11 Power Rankings. Number 32, Carolina Panthers. Last time's ranking, 31. The Panthers had a very winnable game against the lousy Chicago Bears team without Justin Fields, and they still put up an uninspiring effort in a 16-13 loss. This team somehow looks miles worse without Matt Rule, and that is really saying something. Number 31, New England Patriots, last time's ranking, 29. Somehow, the Patriots just keep finding a way to hit rock bottom at a more severe level than the previous week. Bill Belichick looking like a person that is truly out of answers. But uh, hey, other than that, we suppose that things aren't so bad for this once proud organization. Number 30, New York Giants, last time's ranking, 28. Look, we get that the G-Men were down to a third stringer, but the amount of ugly blowout losses at the NFL level is inexcusable. A league worst minus 148 point differential is truly mind boggling at this point. Number 29, Arizona Cardinals. Last time's ranking, 32. Hey, hey, welcome back, Kyler Murray. The first overall pick of 2019 returned to the field for the first time in 11 months and looked like vintage Kyler Murray against the Falcons. If Murray plays like this the rest of the way, the Redbirds will be out of the Caleb Williams sweepstakes. Number 28, Chicago Bears. Last time's ranking, 30. In a yawn fest of a Thursday night game, the Bears outlasted the Panthers 16 to 13 to pick up win number three on the year. Chicago is 3-3 three three since starting out 0-4, and the D is showing vast improvement after finishing dead last in scoring a year ago. Number 27, Tennessee Titans, last time's ranking, 25. Yeesh, what a letdown that was. After two straight quality starts by Will Levis to begin his career, the Titans put up a stinker in Tampa and lost to a Bucks team that had lost four in a row. Yeah, things aren't going to get any easier with the Jaguars next on the schedule. Number 26, Los Angeles Rams. Last time's ranking, 27. Losers of three straight, the Rams were on a much needed bye week, giving Matt Stafford additional time to rest up his thumb injury. The playoffs are a long shot at this point, but LA can embrace the spoiler role with several playoff contenders on their schedule. Number 25, Green Bay Packers. Last time's ranking, 24. Jordan Love made phenomenal big time plays in Acrisure Stadium, but also a couple of mind numbing mistakes. At this point, the Packers are who they are. A mediocre team in transition with a ceiling of 7 to 8 wins at best. Number 24, Atlanta Falcons. Last time's ranking, 23. The good news, Arthur Smith remembered that he has Bijan Robinson and fed him the ball plenty. The bad news, well, the rest of the Falcons offense struggled mightily in Sunday's 25-23 road loss to Arizona. You gotta wonder if Arthur Blank is mulling a mid-season coaching change to try and salvage the season. Number 23, Washington Commanders. Last time's ranking, 23. 22. Sam Howell had 312 passing yards, three touchdowns, and zero interceptions in Seattle. But the commander's defense also didn't stop a nosebleed in the second half. Now at 4-6, and six, we wouldn't be surprised if Ron Rivera was shown the door before the calendar flips to December. Number 22, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last time's ranking, 23. Hey, great week for the Bucks. Baker Mayfield and Mike Evans went off in Sunday's demolishing of the Titans. The Saints and Falcons also lost, putting Tampa just half a game out of first in the hapless NFC South. Number 21, New York Jets. Last time's ranking, 18. Eesh, just another disheartening loss for the Jets. The defense was excellent in Las Vegas, but Zach Wilson and the offense did practically zilch in Sunday's 16-12 loss to the Raiders. Listen, we love Robert Sala as a coach, but his loyalty to Wilson is just mind-boggling. When speaking about Zach, you know, I, I, I get it. You know, there's, there's, there's a yearning for more or whatever it is, but... I, I, I feel like you played a good game yesterday. It is hard to make changes just to make changes, uh, just to pacify something, uh, and especially when someone's not deserving. If he was deserving of it, I got you. Number 20, Los Angeles Chargers. Last time's ranking, 16. Did you really think that the Chargers would win a close game against an elite team? 
At four and five, the Chargers aren't quite out of the playoff race just yet, but it's hard to envision them outlasting the other contenders in the AFC with this defense. Number 19, Indianapolis Colts. Last time ranking, 21. The Colts gutted out an ugly 10 to six win over the Patriots in Frankfurt to get back to 500. With a super friendly schedule the rest of the way, double digit wins is not out of the question for Steichen and company. Number 18, New Orleans Saints. Last time's ranking, 13. Has there been a more frustrating team than the Saints so far? One of football's easiest schedules, residents of football's worst division, a top 10 defense, a deep set of playmakers, and that's only culminated in a 5-5 record for 10 games. Number 17, Buffalo Bills. Last time's ranking, 12. Buffalo handed Monday night's game to Denver on a silver platter. Unbelievable. Lots. He missed it! 12 men on defense. Five yard penalty. And just look at the gauntlet of a schedule they got ahead of them. The postseason already feels like a long shot at this point. Number 16, Denver Broncos. Last time's ranking, 19. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. The once 0-3 Broncos are suddenly 4-5 after a heart-pounding last-second road win over the Buffalo Bill. Ah, so this is why the Broncos hired Sean Payton. Ah, all makes sense now. Number 15, Las Vegas Raiders. Last time's ranking, 20. Hey look, the Raiders are starting to figure it out. I guess a much needed coaching change was all they really needed to get going again. But there's a little time to celebrate, with Miami, KC, and Minnie making up the Raiders' next three games. Number 14, Houston Texans. Last time's ranking, 17. Woo, mama, CJ Stroud is cooking. Stroud is playing like an MVP candidate, and he's only a rookie. D'Amico Ryans for coach of the year, anyone? Hey, let's see if they can keep the train rolling. It's Kyler Murray and the Cardinals coming to town this Sunday. Number 13, Pittsburgh Steelers. Last time's ranking, 15. Are the Steelers well coached or just purely lucky? They've been outgained in yards every game this season, yet sit at six and three. I mean, I suppose both can be true. Number 12, Minnesota Vikings. Last time's ranking, 14. These Vikings are really becoming the ultimate feel-good story, huh? After starting out one and four, they have rallied with five straight Ws. The last two coming under trade deadline pickup Josh Dobbs. And this is without superstar wideout Justin Jefferson during the win streak. Number 11, Cincinnati Bengals. Last time's ranking, five. What a letdown in the jungle. Wow. The Ravens, Steelers, and Jaguars are all next on the schedule. Sloppy performances like what we saw against Houston could quickly sink a team in football's toughest division. Number 10, Seattle Seahawks. Last time's ranking, 11. It wasn't pretty, but the Seahawks just barely outlasted the Commanders at home to keep pace with the 49ers for tops in the NFC West. We are growing worried about a defense that's struggling to contain anyone, but the talent level there has us optimistic that Pete Carroll and company will figure it out. Number 9, Jacksonville Jaguars. Last time's ranking, 4. We don't want to critique their Jaguars too much. I mean, facing an angry and healthy 49ers team, coming off its bye week and three straight losses. But Sunday's loss to San Fran was a big blow for a team trying to win the conference's top seed. Number 8, San Francisco 49ers. Last time's ranking, 10. There it is, the real 49ers. What a terrific bounce back effort by Kyle Shanahan's squad following three straight losses. The 49ers team at full strength is as dangerous as anybody. Number seven, Miami Dolphins. Last time's ranking, seven. Miami's bye week came at a good time following their week nine loss to the Chiefs. They need to figure out their defensive issues and for once, learn how to beat a team with a winning record. Number six, Baltimore Ravens. Last time's ranking, two. The Ravens will be kicking themselves for squandering another double-digit lead at home, this time to the rival Browns. It's becoming a concerning trend under John Harbaugh, which is mind-boggling given how stingy their defense is. Number 5, Cleveland Browns. Last time's ranking, 9. Statement win by the Browns, who pulled off a thrilling comeback win over the Ravens. Finally, Deshaun Watson looked like the franchise QB the Browns traded and paid for. At 6-3, the Browns are arguably the best of a very crowded bunch in the gauntlet that is the AFC North. Number 4, Dallas Cowboys. Last time's ranking, 8. Dak Prescott and the offense just keep on rolling. Prescott and the Cowboys are a virtual playoff lock at 6-3. But as always, the real question is, is if they'll actually show up in the postseason. Number 3. 
Detroit Lions, last time's ranking, 6. These aren't the same old Lions, in case you needed a reminder. The Lions of old would have blown a close game like that, but Dan Campbell instead went into all-out aggressive mode all game long and led his squad to a thrilling 41-38 road win in La La Land. Everything is coming together for the Lions. Number 2, Kansas City Chiefs. Last time's ranking, 3. The Chiefs enjoyed a bye week following their win over the Miami Dolphins in Frankfurt. Long way to go, but it already feels like the road to Super Bowl 59 will run through Kansas City. But hey, you know, just the boy that stays the same. Number 1, Philadelphia Eagles. Last time's ranking, 1. Football's best team was also on a bye week. They'll have had a full two weeks to get ready for their highly anticipated Super Bowl 58 rematch with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. A win in KC will cement the Eagles as the team to beat the rest of the way. But what changes would you make to our Week 11 power rankings? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton, and hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea, because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.